OK, so here's a great idea. Take the world's most valuable digital asset, the thing people call digital gold, and turn it into a permanent junk drawer that nobody can ever clean out. Brilliant, right? That's basically what some Bitcoin developers are trying to do with this proposed update to the Bitcoin network. Up until now, Bitcoin had a little field called OP underscore return. Think of it like a sticky note you attach to a transaction. The limit was 80 bytes, just enough to timestamp something, leave a goofy message, or, if you're boring, add metadata. It was harmless, like doodling in the corner of a ledger. But now core devs want to raise it to 100,000 bytes. That's like going from a shot glass to a filthy swimming pool full of spam and malware. Suddenly people can stuff actual files into the blockchain. Images, videos, audio clips, whatever nightmare fuel they want. And because Bitcoin's blockchain is permanent, that data lives there forever. If it goes in, it's never coming out. Every node will have to download and store it like some kind of cursed digital hoarder show. Why are they doing this? Supposedly to fight minor centralization. Right now, miners can secretly accept these oversized transactions while everyone else's nodes filter them out. So the plan is, let everyone drown in the same garbage. That's like solving a rat problem by setting your whole house on fire. Here's why you, the average Bitcoiner, should care. First, legal danger. Someone definitely will upload something illegal. Child exploitation material, violent images, the absolute worst. Once it's there, you, as a node runner, are technically hosting it. Governments don't care about your decentralization speech. Running a node could suddenly mean legal trouble. Second, reputation disaster. Regular people won't care about the technical details. They'll just hear Bitcoin and illegal content. We've seen this before with BSV. They raised their limit, and guess what? Garbage flooded in. Now BSV is a meme coin everyone laughs at. Do you really want Bitcoin to share that fate? Third, technical fallout. Big files slow everything down. They raise costs for node operators. Smaller independent nodes will quit. And fewer nodes equals more centralization. They're fixing centralization by literally making it worse. So what's the upside here? Basically, devs get a trophy for openness, while you get to watch your portfolio nosedive. All because someone thought it would be funny to upload a cursed MP4. Bitcoin is supposed to be money, not a trash bin for the Internet's worst data. If this goes through, the only thing truly decentralized will be the panic selling. If you'd like to see a video on how Bitcoin knots can solve this problem, like and subscribe, and I'll make a video on knots.